Hey guys, welcome to a new movie review. Today we're doing Night Swim. Now this is a movie that I saw. And I'm like, it looks interesting. It's in one of the ones where it doesn't look like, it's not, doesn't look like the most amazing horror film at all, but it looks interesting. I was like, it looks different, a little different, at least more like, be more interesting than something ones. It does feel like it's in that general like horror movie kind of thing they do now. They want those, almost like it could consider a slot or like average okay movie. I think it's a little bit than that, but let's jump into it. Jump starts. I liked it. I liked it. I thought it was okay. I liked the premise. It had a lot of interesting things to it. So let's jump into it. Uh, this movie is about the family moving to this house. They're trying to find because the dad, as a, he was like, I believe he was a baseball player. He was some type of sports player. And I want to say it was baseball. It could have been basketball or something else, but I want to say it was baseball. I forget what it was, but he was, I want to say it was baseball. And if it's wrong sport, he, yeah, he's in a, he was in a sport. I think it's baseball. But he had uh, some stuff, some medical issues. So that's why he's like, I can't do what I can do. So they find a, find a place with, you know, combinations for him and stuff. They found this place as a pool. Obviously, he can get exercise and stuff with that to help with him. So they eventually buy the place. Then obviously, throughout the movie, we have him, his wife, and her daughter, and her son. That's the members of the family they have this pool and the premise of this movie is there's something weird with the pool like it's obviously doing something it starts like they start seeing people who it's not there when they're swimming and doing stuff throughout the movie they all start seeing stuff and acting different the dad kind of basically starts to act a little crazy and kind of like possessed near the end but the, whatever this thing is it's taking him over and they have to fight him at the end this is a very basic bevel move so me i'm going to be spoiling it so keep that in mind i'm going to support it kind of already a little bit but we're going to support it because it's a very short and simple movie dad gets like taking over and then they have to figure out how to stop him and the, i think at the end they do stop him but they realize he gets back to where he himself i'm like oh my god what am i doing and he eventually has to sacrifice himself to save the rest of the family it was not a bad one we actually liked because there's some interesting scenes that i think was very i think it was not bad and also they go and we find out more about what the thing is because you're like what is this thing that's attacking him doing it and the one the mom goes and finds out more about this place and other people have died here and stuff and that's the thing on the very beginning of the park where a little kid dies goes up to the pool because he thinks he sees somebody uh who's uh in trouble or something or something happens and they go out to the pool or the one sees like a toy out there and he goes out there and it dies and all this stuff so there's other stuff that's happened he goes to meet this person and it's like yeah no it was like a sacrifice this person was like a sacrifice for the pool and that was the kind of the gist of it i think they had to sacrifice the mom back in the old day the original person who owned it beforehand or back was just that started in the beginning it's like hey we gotta sacrifice this kid or something because that was the story that sacrificed the kid and they really a lot of people didn't know about the person who died like kind of like all kind of forgot and stuff a lot of it not completely but so they so that's the thing was like the pool you have to sacrifice somebody but like i don't know if it's an ancient ritual burial ground but something was happened there a long long time ago land or something stuff happened there obviously and then throughout time the pool was still there we used to be like a lake or river now it's now it's a pool and because of water underneath the uh, i guess the maybe the, the pool like underneath in the ground there's like water and stuff or whatever the lake or stuff used to be there and there's like a, going into the pool or doing something with like second year around it and getting the pool and attacks the dad like he's possessed and they eventually the dad gets unpossessed but he realizes like oh my god what's going on he sacrifices himself to save everybody but i'm like good at he actually does the thing like he works thing where he sacrifices himself like i gotta stop this and the rest of him is like hey we gotta stay here we gotta make sure nothing else happens like we gotta of course dad would have wanted us to keep this safe because if anybody else they basically take the pool and they destroy it and like cover it up or destroy it or they're kind of like taking it out and whatever hey we gotta stay here and make sure nothing else bad happens kind of thing it was fun like i said i liked it it was not the worst movie ever i actually enjoyed it i think it was like more fun than i thought it was but, like yeah i enjoyed it fun had some fun moments i'm giving it on the rating of this movie what are we rating it a seven i actually think it wasn't as bad as i thought I thought it was maybe going to be like a 6 or maybe like it could be one that's a little slackier. I liked it. I enjoyed it. What you guys think of Night Swim? Let me know in the comments down below. You guys can always stay epic. See you in the next video, guys. Bye.